All right, Michigan fans, bring it on. If any of you guys subscribed from that last video, this is probably the one you wanted to see. You came to see pissed off Ohio State fan um, at a stupid basketball game that probably doesn't matter at the end of the day because they're in the tournament. This game meant everything to Michigan State, and it really didn't mean that much to Ohio State in the grand scheme of things. But I cannot... This is so frustrating because Ohio State was in the perfect position to get the one seed, and we watched what is essentially the equivalent of the one versus nine matchup, and Ohio State squandered it. And this is what I was we all us Buckeye fans were afraid of is just this this collapse once we got to March because they did it against Northwestern, they did it against Purdue. Um, those were like two of their four losses, uh, or their five losses coming into this game. Um, and then we get to this game, and the same shit happens again. And it's so frustrating. Um, now this one, I do not think Ohio State was the only factor to blame, which was 100% true in the Michigan loss. Now there, at the end of the game, Ohio State had the ball. It was 69 to 67 with a chance to tie the game. Dwayne Washington drives to the basket, layup up. No good. Was it a foul? Was it not? That was a subjective call. Like, yes, there there is supposed to be some objectivity to whether a foul is a foul or not, but I will never blame a loss on the fact that a somewhat subjective call was missed so that and then ej liddell a lot of suspect like was that a foul on him or not a lot of the game they let him play they let aaron henry play aaron henry got the best of him cool i'm pissed at ej liddell four for 13 despite having like 18 points ain't cool at this point in the year what i'm heated about is this we're gonna watch this. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, bring myself down here a little bit. And we're just gonna. Oh, stay there. Come on. There we go. And we're just gonna take a look. Take a look at this ourselves. Okay, you guys know the clip. It's a little blurry because of Twitter, right? So let's watch. Shot okay. Down to three. This is Washington. Got a Washington heaves it up. Did he make it? He made it. Oh, no. But did he make it in time? That's All right. Insane. I'll let you be the judge. I'm not the judge. One second on the shot clock. Or let me move myself again. That's good. I agree with you. There's the shot clock. Out of his hand. The clock is changing from one to zero. It's it's close. They called it a three. On the floor. Okay. It was a three. On the floor. Waved it off. Okay. Now, maybe my eyes are different than your eyes, but from from this, three. This is Washington. Got a hustle. Didn't realize. Watching it. this again. Oh no! That's insane. We're gonna freeze it at the top of the shot. Watch when zero comes. Well, that's out. Ooh, that that's looks good. to me. I agree with you. Like a three-point shot. Whatever. Three objective points gone does it change the outcome of a game with a team that's looked really good lately because if we look Michigan State basketball if we take a look ourselves at what they've done lately we're going to ignore this one for ourselves but down the line very close with Iowa Beat Nebraska, Penn State. We're going to ignore this one, too. They beat Indiana. They beat Illinois, top five team. They beat Ohio State, top five team. Michigan State has been playing some good basketball lately. So Michigan State isn't some scrub. They're not like a Northwestern where that shouldn't have mattered because that did matter. Michigan State and Tom Izzo aren't a bunch of scrubs. When you play them, you need everything you can get, and that is just unacceptable to overturn that call. That's besides the point. That's my little gamer rage moment. Um, 
this this is just quintessential Ohio State basketball this year. They did it against Northwestern. They did it in the second Purdue game. Uh, what were their other losses this year? They have six now. They lost to Michigan. We talked about that one. We talked about Michigan State. I'm going to that now. Uh, their other losses. Uh, they lost to Minnesota. Um, that was just a blowout. I don't know what happened in that game. That was just an, that's just an outlier among outliers, uh, it appears. Um, where, or am I missing something? Who else did we lose to? Purdue twice, Northwestern, Minnesota, Michigan, Michigan State. Okay, so that's all the losses. Um, I, I have to count them on two hands now, unfortunately. Um, I, I want to talk about Chris Holtman now. Um, I don't think a lot of people I, th I think a lot of people in the Ohio State community um, have like a frustration with Chris Holtman because of these like blown games, and I just do not see it that way. When Chris Holtman got teed up tonight, because he got teed up twice, and coaches, I'm gonna be honest, they don't get teed up unless something something went wrong on a referee's end. Coaches don't get pissed off for for simple foul calls. Holtman wasn't even that mad about the Washington three. That was clearly a three. But there were two times where Holtman got teed up, which resulted in three Michigan State points. So, if we're, if we're counting at home, uh, there are, are there are six points there that probably should not have gone uh, one way versus another. Um, we're done with that. Um, Holtman had, I think, all the right in the world to be upset. And as an Ohio State fan, I am glad to see him get ejected from this game because I don't want to put up with that either. Um, in the Big Ten, where you play a physical brand of basketball um, and you're used to drawing fouls game after game, and when they're not coming, it makes sense to get frustrated. I was frustrated. Tom Izzo was frustrated on the other side. Michigan State got screwed on some calls. There were some in the first half, I think, where I was like, what the hell? Like, that wasn't a foul. Um, and that's just that's just how it went. Um, but after that, after that therapy of flipping the bird to the refs, what lost Ohio State this game at the end of the day? Missing Kyle Young. Kyle Young is a big part of this team and a piece that is going to get buried in the story of suspect referee play and really weird offensive decisions. We would get into sets where Dwayne Washington would just heave up a three whenever. He was one for seven tonight, ice cold. That's what Ohio State loses games. That's what happens. If Dwayne Washington hits like 1-3, they're going to lose games more often than not. Luckily this year, he hasn't done that, but they lose more often than not if he can only hit 1-3, especially if he goes 1-7. for seven. And Dwayne Washington still, um, and he had 17 points despite that because he's finally figured out how to get to the lane. A baffling decision. I am the biggest Chris Holtman fan in the world. Baffling that Seth Town, or uh, I'm sorry, Zed Key, got only 12 minutes in this game despite being 4-4-4 four, four, four from the field with 8 points. Do you know how ha someone who had as many field goals as Zed Key in this game? EJ Liddell, who was on the floor for 28 minutes of this game. Clearly was not up to the, the challenge needed. I mean, he, he played well, okay? You can't get mad at a um, an 18-8 and eight performance. Like that, that can't, that's not the end of the world. But when someone's shooting four for four, you let him play more. A uh, second game in a row, Justin Ahrens did nothing. That needs to change if this team wants to be competitive in March. Um, we need, we need something. And I, I was ba banging home on this for the Michigan game. We need someone not named Dwayne Washington or EJ Liddell to do something. Zed Key was in the great position to do that this game, and he was not given a chance, which is just unfortunate. Um, and then, yeah, 32 minutes to Musa Jallo, zero points. I don't, I don't get that decision. I mean, like, 
He was in the game for Kyle Young, and I know he plays good defense. And this was this was a pretty decent defensive game for Ohio State, as far as they're concerned. Um, they 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 still lost at the end of the day. I don't. Ah, this one this one stings a lot. This one. Uh, this one's going. This one's up there with the Northwestern and the Purdue games. All three of those games, we're just like, oh, you had it, and that that's ultimately what why this team, and I, I made it clear in the Michigan video, this team is not a national title contender right now, and we play Iowa, we play Illinois. After those two games, maybe I'm riding the high horse, super excited, um, but right now. This team is looking like a three seed, maybe a four seed if they lose out. Um, going from the number one seed down to four in a, like a week um, because of a game like that, that's just, you can't let that happen. Um, and that's why I'm so frustrated and upset tonight. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I didn't attack this video with respect and grace like I did with the other one. Uh, the Michigan game, but that was a great college basketball game, one I would like to watch again, even as an Ohio State basketball fan. I did watch it again as an Ohio State basketball fan. That Michigan State game as a basketball fan was a, a trash game that was really weird and uh, all over the place, and I don't even know if Michigan State fans... I mean, they probably would because they beat a number four team in the country, Um but I don't even know if that's an appealing game for them to watch again because it just wasn't good basketball. Um, as I finish this video, credit to Michigan State. Tom Izzo's a great coach. Um, Aaron Henry, excellent play tonight. Um, other players from Michigan State that I want to give a shout-out to. Um, shout-out Gabe Brown. He was in double figures. Um, Marcus Bingham, he was a handful uh, other, uh, Josh Langford, um, he he's not Cassius Winston. Everyone knows he's not Cassius Winston, but he he did enough to get his team to win tonight. So, um, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Most Sports Network. See you guys next time. Peace out.